It's about 9.30 in the morning, and I'm going down to the lake to check a sonar unit that I recently put on my boat. The old one shot craps, and so I had to put a different one on. So I thought, while I'm there, I may fish a little while. So come along with me, and uh, we'll see if we can catch some fish this morning. I just launched the boat and uh, checked out the sonar unit that I put on the front of the boat and it seems to be working fine so since I won't be using it today why let's go out and see if we can find some fish. I'm fishing a large flat and I've set up a trolling zone from 10 to 30 feet deep and I've located some fish in the middle of this flat. It's probably a half a mile square here where I'm fishing. When you're fishing these wide flats, the fish will only be located in certain areas. And you've got to use your electronics to find those areas. And once you find them, then you just follow your trails back and forth through that area. I don't have a lot of time this morning, so instead of trying to find fish, I'm going to go fish a point and kind of a secondary point that's about 300 yards offshore because I've caught fish there before. I'm approaching the point now. You can see it there on the unit and above it you'll see kind of a secondary point. And I've had some real good luck here before. It's on the right side of my trolling zone uh, in about 15 foot of water where the white area is. As you can see, the fish are sure enough there. I'm not quite sure what's there. It's, it looks like maybe a mixture of crappie and white bass and maybe some bait fish. And the orange marks that you see are rough fish of some time, like buffalo or catfish. As you see, I've set up three rods and I'm going to turn around and troll back across this first point and see what I can catch. I deleted all of my old trails and zoomed in so I can be more precise with my fishing. At this point I have turned around and what I did was take a snapshot of the graph showing where we were located at one specific point and what I did that for was so that I would have time to explain to you what's going on. What I'm doing is looking for structure offshore to catch fish. The same structure that you find onshore is also offshore but most people don't realize that. Points and edges 
and different types of structure like trees and rocks and, and so forth are out in the middle of the lake just like they are on shore. They were there before the lake was formed. So what I'm doing is fishing this point and one just above it that you'll see that's about 200 or 300 yards out in the middle of the lake and I have found fish on both of the on and between both of these points so at this point we have turned around and we're going to go back over these points again and try to show you where the fish are and see if we can catch some more of them as we move along across the first one of these points you can see the fish that are on that point we found no fish before we got to the point we also found fish between this point and the next point that's coming up and we found fish between them but we found few fish above the upper point this is not uncommon fish usually find a specific area and collect there in groups offshore and that's what we're trying to do is catch these fish something big at least it's pulling hard it's either a big drum or a big white bass probably It's a big white bass, but on top of that, it's sort of foul hooked, and that gives him more power. In this clip you can see that we have turned around now and we will simply go back and forth following our trails over the area. In between my fingers there you can see the area that we're trolling and we'll continue to go back and forth and the trails help us stay in the spot where we're catching the fish.
I don't like to take too many fish out of one spot. So I'm going to run up the lake a couple of miles and there's another spot that I know of that's a little bit of a point, kind of a more of a cut bank than a point. I'll see if I can catch some there. This is my new spot. It's only about a hundred yards offshore, but once again I've caught fish here before. Man, got me another white bass. Two more, I ought to have my limit. Oh, big white bass. Man, that was a good catch. I don't know how to do this. I got my limit, I think. Here the trails are showing you that I fished this cut bank back and forth just the same as I did the two points in the first place that I fished. I only planned to fish about two hours, but as you can see it's closer to three hours. But I was just having too much fun to quit. My viewers have been asking me to spend a little more time showing more details about the things that I do, and I tried to do that in this video. Fish for Fun videos are not instructional videos, but sometimes people just want more information. If you enjoyed this, please let me know, and if you haven't subscribed, please do that. And don't forget to hit the notification bell because we'll be going out again soon.